Hello, now today I would like to show you a beautiful motorhome from Italy, the range-topping Leica Creos L5009, and this is all new for 2023. It's absolutely stunning. Let's start with the exterior and a few specifications. So for those of you who don't know, Leica, it's a premium Italian motorhome constructor, part of the Erwin Heimer Group, and the Creos we're looking at here, which is a stunning, stunning range. This is based, as you can see, on the Fiat Ducato, and the vehicle we're looking at here starts at about 124,000, and the actual model we're looking at here is 144,000 pounds. Now the MRO of this motorhome is approximately 3,800 kilos and the MTPLM is 4,500 kilos giving you a payload before options of about 700 kilos so obviously you've got to take some of these options out of that 700 kilos but that's still adequate for, uh, for most people. 4,500 kilos is your MTPLM. Having a quick look in the garage, oh it's a bit dark in there, but it has a capacity of 250 kilos, there's even a wine holder there, oh, the Italians are so civilised. And we have socket, even got a TV outlet there for if you're watching TV outside, and lashings of course for your bicycle, or e-bike, or even scooter. As far as water capacity goes, it is a stunning 200 litres and it is in the sandwich floor, heated, so that's good. 200 litres fresh water and one... Attention, oh, for goodness sake. This is a message for all exhibitors. Water capacity, fresh water, is a stunning 200 litres and that is in a tank in the floor, which is heated, great as is the wastewater tank which is 150 litres. So, so far we've seen nothing too much that's anything out of the ordinary. However, let me now pop on the wide angle lens and show you something that is out of the ordinary and that is the interior. Here you can see we have a light over the door and a canopy on this one but as we go in we have an electric step but just just wait for this folks wait for this look at this it is stunning absolutely beautiful and a quick shifty round to the back we have Alder Central Heating, of course, in the premium motorhome. And it's even split up into zones. So we've got the bedroom zone, which you can control here. So you can have it a little bit cooler in the bedroom, a bit warmer in the lounge area. Oh, this is just lovely. So your cubby holes are up there for putting your things at night which maybe isn't the most convenient, but then it saves things getting knocked. But I'm not quite sure where you'd put your cup of tea in the morning. I guess you'd have to put it up there. Um, and we have a TV station around here. The bedroom door is a solid door. As you can see. Which of course segregates the bathroom. So now let's take a closer look at the bathroom. Of course, it fully segregates from the rest of the motorhome, completely private, which is always good. But it is absolutely gorgeous. It really the styling, I mean it's it's so boutique hotel, it almost hurts. It's so the, the style of it is just Wonderful. And it's got the all-round mirror for an all-round hello. Sorry. And as we turn around, here we have the shower cubicle. It's like a it's like being in a spa, isn't it? 
like being in a Finnish spa. And look, you've got the, uh, you've got, even got the, the hand, well, the separate shower and then the drench, the rain shower as well. Absolutely beautiful. So that's, uh, this lifts up. You don't shower with this in place. So there's your shower tray. And of course it has two drains. So if you're not parked on the level, doesn't matter. The water will still drain away. We've got some storage space here. I think for the most vain beauty queen, I think that should be enough room for all the cosmetics, just about. And then we just lift up the step. So I'm lifting up the step here. Can you see? Oh, see, this looks like a pull out wardrobe here. You put your hangers here, and again, it's uh, sort of grabs the hangers to stop them falling out. <laughs> so, a slide out wardrobe. And then, what about this side? What do we got here? So, we've got shelves on. Oh, this is for your shoes. You put your shoes here. And then you can put some bits and pieces here, but you can also, I guess you can take these out. You'd have to unscrew them if you wanted more hanging space. <laughs> oh, it's exquisite, isn't it? I'm gonna keep overusing that word slightly. And as we go through now to the rest of the motorhome, let's have a look at the kitchen. And um, well, this is, <laughs> this is an optional extra they fitted to this motorhome. Yeah, but yes, it's available in the UK. Oh, I've got a squeaky uh, cover to the floor there. Yes, it's available in the UK. It is a dishwasher. So it does only work on mains. So uh, obviously you'd either need to be on a mains hookup or have a, a huge battery and a, and a huge inverter if you wanted to power that off grid. But oh my goodness, a dishwasher. <laughs> Who doesn't want a dishwasher in their motorhome? But that is included in the, uh, as I say, this motorhome starts about 123, 124. This one is 144 and that includes the, uh, the dishwasher. Oh, look at this sink. You've got this main sink here. You've got veg prep or whatever here, or we rinse off the washing up over there. Two sockets at the back there behind the, uh, the lovely tap. One thing we don't have which surprises me. We don't have lighting under the lockers. The lighting is just here above the locker. So it's absolutely fine. It really works. But as you get towards the back of the kitchen, and to be fair, you're not going to be preparing food at the back of the kitchen. There's no huge issue. The, the light sort of falls more at the front. So it's a bit more of an ambient light. So it works. Cupboard there. Soft close, naturel mont. And then what have we got down here? So we've got a cupboard here. So you've got your cutlery drawer there, and then that's just a fixed drawer. Now it looks swish. It is swish, but you've got to be be mindful of the fact that every time you want a teaspoon you've got to open that then you go into that it's just making what could be a one-stage process a two-stage process just something to be mindful of folks and as we come around to the other side of the kitchen notice too the floor the uh the hatches in the floor because of the design of the floor people who've got ocd and don't like it when uh the slats don't match up, no such problems here. Like her have thought of that. That's just not a lot really. But we've got the Dometic fridge here. Two-way door. So you can open the door from either side. With the annoying LEDs, but obviously if you're in a bedroom, you're not gonna notice those. And then above we have the oven and grill. Or is it just an oven? Small oven. Small oven there. So yes, you've got some 
uh, storage in the floor here. So you can stash stuff away down there as well in the double floor. And like I say, the water tanks are in there and heated. To keep it it's nice and liquid in the winter. You've also got a crash, uh, a Truma crash sensor system on the gas here, which means you can run the heating while you are driving. Because also we have the Alder heating throughout the cab in this particular model, which is super. And we just have a quick look at the cab. Oh, looks like a Ducato Series 8 to me. With a nice screen and this one's got an automatic gearbox as well, included in the 144,000. And there we go. Nice sunroof. And we have an electric bed. That was easy. So there's your bed. Obviously you have a ladder that goes on here. And we've got two lights there. I would hope that you can dim this somehow. I would hope so. I'm not going to touch it though because we're at the uh, still at the show in the NEC even though by the time you come to watch this the show will unfortunately be over. I don't want to spoil anything but that's one thing to ask if you're seriously interested in this motorhome folks if you're going to be using that front bed is can you dim that at night because that would be very important. So that is the stunning Leica Krios L5009. But before we wrap up this video folks, there is another Leica Krios L5009 over there with a few alternatives. So let's have a quick look at that and see what else is available in this beautiful motorhome. So here you can see, instead of the dishwasher, here we've got a UK cooker with a far larger oven and grill and then above the fridge instead of the small oven you've got a microwave so this is an alternative kitchen if you were after that so there you have it the stunning Leica Krios L5009 what a beautiful motorhome I'll leave a link to the Leica website in the description below this video but in the meantime folks thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it you know what to do please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already and it just leaves me to say from Dougal who's still with my mum and from me thanks for tuning in <laughs>